Now let's add some lights into the scene. So right now, uh, you might say, well, hey, it looks light enough. Um, well, it might look okay for our viewport, but if I render this, so if I go up here to Arnold, and if I open up the render view, this is really the view that's most important, okay? So obviously this is kind of our working view, but this is how people are gonna see it like on a movie file. Uh, and if I hit this, it'll render it out. And it gives me a warning down here. It says no light in the scene, okay? So I don't have any lights in the scene. So one light that I could add, the easiest light to add, if I go to Arnold, lights, I can add a sky dome light, okay? And just by doing that, I can see that this, uh, the scene instantly lights up, okay? Now, um, and I'm gonna stop this and just put this down here for now. And let's take a look at what I added, okay? So you can see I added this huge dome around our scene. And so now no matter where I look, I kind of see this sky and um, I could change the color or the intensity of it over here, but I, I think I might kind of leave it like this, maybe make it darker actually. Um, but one thing that I'm noticing on the render uh, that is not the same as my viewport, it looks like the snowflakes are kind of inverted. Okay, they look fine here, but they look inverted here. Um, and I feel like sometimes that happens where you're not getting consistency between the viewport and here. But I feel like the only view that really matters is the final view here. Otherwise, this is what your video file will look like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go open this up, find my master snowflake, because I know that that master snowflake has the material attached to it. And in this case, I can see that Lambert 6 is that material. And you can see that that's where I put the, the snowflake image on there and the transparency image on here. I'm gonna rename this material snow underscore material. Okay. Um, and if I look at this, really the problem with the snowflake is the transparency. So if I go into this transparency, I can click here where I put the file on before. Um, I can go down here to effects and simply invert that. And if I hit, hit this play button, now I can see that it updated correctly in the render view. And it might look backwards in here, but it doesn't really matter. Once again, I don't really trust the viewport to be accurate. The only thing that matters is what's what we're seeing here. Okay, now that I have that done, maybe I'll select the sky. So if I go to the sky dome, maybe I'll make it darker. Okay. Now, now I might wanna add a light in the scene, okay, to light it up. Uh, granted, this sky dome is considered a light, that's why we're seeing this but I could add other lights as well. For example, I could go to create lights and you can see that there's a lot of different types of lights that I could add, but this time I'm gonna focus on a directional light. So if I click on this, okay. If I add this, you can see that, well, it comes in at the scene here and I can bring this up and you'll see it, it update in the viewport. And this is where I feel like the viewport and the render view start to differ uh, more significantly. So now if I rotate this around, you can see the, the lighting update over here. Maybe I, I kind of rotate this down. So this is the direction of the light, okay? So it looks like a kind of a cold winter day here. Um, and I, I'm getting, you know, the angle of the sun coming this way. And what I could do is I could go to my intensity of the light. So I selected the light and in the attribute editor of the light, maybe put that to two. Okay, maybe I could go to extreme, I could put it at 10. 
Okay, maybe that's a little bit too much. Maybe I'll try five. Uh, maybe three. Okay, that's cool. I kind of like that. Um, now, what I have to be careful of is if I zoom out, I'm going to zoom out in this view. Okay. Um, depending on the angle of my light, this sky may be casting a shadow down on the ground here. Um, so to have this not cast a shadow, if I select this, I can go into the render stats. Notice that I'm on the shape tab of the sky. I'm going to tell it not to cast shadows. Okay. I'm also going to, over here in the snow, I'm going to go to the snowflake, the snow particles. And actually, I'm going to go into the um, snowflake master, and I'm going to tell it not to cast shadows either. Okay. So now the snow and this kind of this false sky are not casting shadows. Okay, because that wouldn't really make sense. They're there for more just kind of, um, you know, to create the snow. And now I'm getting something more convincing. Okay, great. I think that um, making a lot of progress here. We just added a simple directional light. And we also added some image-based lighting or some uh, sky dome light to help kind of enhance our scene.